So I want to welcome everybody uh, to today's uh, Asterix Technology Group partner webcast series. Joining us today is Arcspan, a great vendor in the space, and we'll get into those folks in just a few minutes. Uh, this this, this web, webcast series, as we call it, is bringing together thought leaders from throughout uh, the industry. Um, you know, heavily, heavily weighted towards obviously laboratory software, laboratory technology, the digital laboratory, uh, the migration of the laboratory uh, to the cloud. So these are all kind of general themes that we're working with within this digital laboratory webcast. And we're bringing together some great thought leaders, folks that are really innovating in the field of lab informatics, laboratory software technology, cloud technology, etc. And uh, today's no different. We're, we're excited to have uh, some, some great folks on to present today. So next slide, please. The session is called uh, Increasing Efficiency and Data Accuracy, how to get back 90 minutes a day wasted uh, looking for data. And this is going to be presented to you by ArcSpan, a Bruker company. Uh, so we're thrilled to have them. I think it's a really cool topic. I think we'd all like to get an hour and a half of our day back if that's possible. So we're going to learn how to do that. Next slide, please. Uh, before we get into that, of course, Asterix is putting on this webcast, so you're going to have to sit through a quick Asterix commercial and hear who we are uh, in the industry and, and why we're even putting this on. So first and foremost, uh, we're an informatics professional services and staffing company uh, that's dedicated 100% to the scientific community. A couple of quick stats about the company, if you've never he heard of us or dealt with us before. We've been around since 1995 and are privately held. It originated as an IT division within a company called APBI, which is a $300 million uh, research organization. Today, we operate from seven offices in the United States and, and an outsourced center in Costa Rica. The headquarters are in beautiful Red Bank, New Jersey. Uh, and in terms of who we deal with, um, we have about 800 employees right now. But in terms of who we're dealing with at the company side, we deal with Fortune 1000 life science enterprises, chemical, CPG, government, research institutions, all with large and fast-growing IT and outsourced and compliance needs. Our mission is and, and always has been to deliver scalable, sustainable solutions for the scientific community. Next slide, please. Within the scope of <clears throat> um, lab informatics and what we do with, with uh, our vendors and partners, uh, such as ArcSpan, we, uh, we offer end-to-end -end services that span the entire life cycle of scientific data systems. So this begins with helping labs and organizations through business process analysis, understanding what solutions they need based on where they're at in their life cycle, and then architecting those solutions out. Then we actually can help with this selection of the right technology based on what we find in those first two boxes. Uh, then we get into the traditional development and implementation of solutions and then the computer systems validation. Uh, there's also customized pay-as-you-go solutions for laboratory software and hardware, um, even to the hosting side. And then there's scientific and technical staffing. If you need people to staff um, you know, these solutions, we have those people available and we do that quite frequently. So that's just a quick set of the solutions that we deliver. We're a services company that works very tightly in conjunction with software vendors to deliver solutions to the lab at the end of the day. So let me introduce our speaker for today. We'll go ahead and switch to the next slide. So we got Phil Rubzinski. He joined ArcSpan in 2020 as the director of Global Services Group. Uh, and he previously ran uh, research informatics at Amicus Therapeutics, uh, where he was an ArcSpan customer. Uh, he replaced the original hybrid paper electronic notebooks with ArcSpan's ELN and served as the system administrator. You know, Phil's prior roles were in the medicinal chemistry at both uh, Amicus Therapeutics and at J&J. And he uses a wealth of experience from the lab to address the needs of researchers in a variety of fields. So great speaker, great, great to have him on. Um, I'm going to be quiet now, Phil. I'll turn it over to you and uh, and get to the get to the presentation. All right, thank you, and thanks to your colleagues at Asterix Technologies for the opportunity to be here today. Um, I'm joined by Jeff Carter, who is a co-founder of ArcSpan and is also the chief operating officer. Um, I'm going to give the presentation, then Jeff and I will be available to answer questions at the end. Um, until recently, as you just saw, I was an ArcSpan customer running the research informatics at a biotech. So I understand from experience the difficulties that research organizations have uh, in collecting and preserving their data. Um, that same experience also tells me that the ArcSpan suite is a powerful tool for this purpose. So my topics today that I want to review um, is the ArcSpan suite as the centralized, secure, and accessible location for your data. At the end, I think you'll agree that the suite should be the backbone of your data environment. For startups, for small companies, and a lot of other cases, um, it can be the data environment. We'll also review new tools that enhance workflow and data flow in day-to-day -day operations without compromising that data preservation. 
The first tool is called Biospin and is for molecular biology. The first phase is in late development with release expected in January of next year. Uh, in the first release, it will be embedded in the ELN and in registration. The next phase of Biospin development is already underway and release is tentatively set for the first half of 2021. That version will also be available for the desktop and the standalone web-based software. Um, I'll discuss the features later in the talk. The second new tool is the analytical ELN. It is in place and brings the digital lab to reality. ArcSpan and MesterLab are working together under the broker umbrella to create new solutions for analytical testing with rapid data evaluation and preservation in the requester's ELN. This is at an early stage and it has great potential. So let's get to a little more granularity. ArcSpan is a cloud-based solution access through a variety of browsers. Access and permissions can be as wide or narrow as your confidentiality rules require. It's perfect whether you're at a single location, multiple locations with collaborators, and especially with CROs. ArcSpan helps laboratories with a variety of challenges from the initial creation and documentation of IP through to the management of sample containers and testing of those samples. The system provides an out-of-the-box solution for small to mid-sized biotechs, as well as best-of-breed capabilities to world-class companies. The users get a common platform that keeps data in a centralized, secure, and accessible location. ELN entries can be connected to each other, to registered substances, to inventory containers and their use, and to results visualization. So they get more than a data warehouse. This linking provides deep insight into what was done in the R&D process, as well as who did it, with what materials and instruments, and the conditions that were used in these experiments. That level of connection has the potential to save tremendous amounts of time at all stages of R&D. And remember, that is time saved through better management of a project, as well as data retrieval. The suite will work whether for large molecule discovery and development in things like uh, proteins, antibody drug conjugates, nucleic acids, and gene therapies, or in the R&D of small molecules. And that speaks to the flexibility of the system to handle your work in a way that's useful to the scientists, the managers, and the organization. The ELN is the most widely used of the ArcSpan platform. The system has been deployed for pharmaceutical, biotech, chemical, and academic uh, customers for more than nine years. The ELN provides a simple to use interface for all laboratories and it can be operational in a day. The system provides a powerful means to capture synthetic chemistry experiments, configure templates for both biology and analytical laboratories, as well as upload and manage all the data created that supports the experiment's outcomes. Uh, the data can be in Microsoft documents, it can be images, spectra, uh, statistical analyses, and custom file formats. The value in this arrangement is uh, the natural sorting of data into relevant locations. Protocols, raw data, process data, and results are all in one location. The entries can be closed with electronic or digital signatures and then witnessed. Great protection for your IP. The ELN can be deployed locally across a series of sites, uh, or across a series of sites, sorry, including CROs. As a manager, you can see progress and results in real time and make informed decisions on next steps rapidly. The chemistry experiment is set up to handle reactions in stoichiometry. Each reactant tab uh, can record properties and quantities. You can also set the limiting reagent. The table calculates molecular weight and formula, and by adding the mass, a number of, uh, the number of moles is calculated. If you add a liquid and record its density, again, moles are calculated. If this entry is part of a multi-step synthesis, the button Add Next Step starts a new entry using the reaction product as the next starting material and linking the two entries together. Uh, the attachments table is the place for documents, as I mentioned a moment ago. Once the procedure is written, 
manually or by copy paste and the product is isolated and registered, the entry can be signed and witnessed. And that's it. The reaction has been recorded in real time. The results have been archived. The records cannot be altered and have a timestamp. This last feature, of course, is true for all experiment types. The biology experiment, by comparison, is more of an open canvas. The same is true of the analytical experiments. So whether you're working on assay development, histology experiments, running bioreactors, um, or isolating proteins, the entry can handle your work details. ELM pages also have a built-in function that allows users to populate pages with protocols and other experimental framework uh, for their, uh, of their choice. Uh, for instance, if a protocol has been established for the routine use of an assay, the details can be added by a single dropdown. The user updates the information to show the details of their work that day. The entry can be linked to other entries, to registered materials, and inventory items. The attachments table is there to take all the relevant documents you need to preserve. No need to search through lab drives or corporate drives or calculation sheets or anything else experimental. Once you establish the business rule that it all goes in, in the ELN, the search has become much simpler. Also, the files attached to the entry can be updated by the experiment owner on their desktop. Using the live edit tool, any file that you can open on your desktop can be checked out of an entry, updated, checked back in, and the entry saved. No need to replace the file so you get good version control, and that's true in any kind of experiment. If you're making critical reagents for assays that support development work, you may be generating certificates of analysis, or at least sending characterization data along with the samples. When all the data is stored in a notebook, you have the best level of traceability available. You shorten the steps to go from delivered document with conclusions back to an experiment showing calculations and raw data. For certificates of analysis, change histories become that much easier to navigate. Although if you want the data and results to be in a document management system, ArcSpan can connect that way too. So um, if you work in molecular biology, your work belongs in the ELN, of course. But to enhance that workspace, ArcSpan is getting ready to release a new molecular biology tool called Biospin. The goal is to make a best-in-class electronic tool uh, for molecular biology, peptides, oligos, and antibodies. For the first release in January, when it's operational in the ELN and registration, the capabilities are what you see here. Users can upload a variety of source data formats. Annotations in the upload remain a part of the plasmid, including details of restriction enzyme sites, uh, the locations of primers, coding sequences, and open reading frames. The annotations and other features are listed as a table next to the graphic representation and can be searched. Uh, the users can upload annotations, primers, and enzymes to their own set of definitions as well, and the software will support ligation. Uh, the sequence visualization uh, in the tool can be linear, it can be by sequence map, and circular map when appropriate. I'm going to show each type so you get a sense of the details that are displayed. As I said earlier, additional development is in progress now, and release of that version is expected in the first half of the year. In the release, there will also be a desktop version and a standalone web version. Um, I'll describe features of the tool as I switch from one view to another. Okay, so you've uploaded, uploaded a file with annotations by drag and drop, uh, by the import tool, or by copy and paste to create a new sequence. If it's a circular plasmid, it can be viewed as circular or linear and as a sequence map. As you see in this screenshot of the circular map, we have every kind of marking switched on. Uh, restriction enzyme sites are marked, and we'll see more on enzyme sites in the next slide. Uh, the tool will also have an enzyme analysis feature. More detail is immediately available in the sequence map. Um, 
hovering over restriction enzymes will show the recognized sequence and cut point, and whether it's a blunt or a sticky end. As you see here, the slide out window uh, with uh, the details of the annotations. So uh, that covers the features, the enzymes, and the primers, and everything can be searched. Uh, you get the protein sequence of the open reading frames as well, both forward and reverse. The linear map view is also available to see the entire sequence. If you're working with something that is not circular, this is your overall view. The scroll bar at the bottom left allows zooming, and you can also choose uh, a base pair range to highlight. Um, uh, I, I've chosen, sorry, I've chosen a base pair range in this example, and that carries over to the other views when we move uh, back and forth. As you zoom in, greater detail comes through, showing the features I've described for the other views. Coding regions, both forward and reverse, enzyme sites, and overall sequence. Notice at the bottom, the number of base pairs displayed and the range is shown. So, the first release will be in January as an embedded tool in ELN and Reg. While the late phase evaluation continues, the next phase of development is in progress. We anticipate having a full featured tool for the ELN desktop and web. In addition to displaying regular peptides, users will be able to define non-natural amino acid residues and peptide stapling. ArcSpan is looking to make a tool that can answer a lot of needs in the molecular biology arena. So I want to move over to another module now and show you a few examples. Workflow was added to the ArcSpan suite in 2018. It can be used to create a variety of templates for requests and for custom experiments, including multi-author experiments. When workflow is used to make custom experiment templates, the entries are gathered within ELNs and signed as usual for IP protection or regulatory purposes. When workflow is used to make a request template, as you see here, it's the place to show the work plans. Uh, the plans can be for in-house or work with outside partners. Um, it is not in a notebook, so it gets no signature, but it's still within the ArcSpan environment. The security for the information being transferred is as high as it is for any notebook page. The example I'm showing now focuses on compound synthesis requests. This is especially useful when you're working with a CRO. The information sent with the synthesis request is whatever makes sense for managing the work. Structures, priorities, um, synthetic routes, references, and amounts to deliver. The CRO receiving then adds their own information on amounts obtained, on purity, completion dates. It's also a living document, so you can rearrange priorities or add new targets. ELN entries are still the place to capture the synthesis details and supporting documentation. Synthetic steps can be connected by experiment links. Using that next step function, um, a common intermediate in one ELN can be used by many other chemists to complete their targets. Everything gets signed and witnessed. And this request template is just one example. It can also be used to organize the distribution of molecules or biologics. Uh, to release critical reagents for assays. Um, it can be used to request uh, analytical analysis of, sam of samples. And that leads us to the second new feature today. So uh, workflow has recently been used to create an analytical request type that's built on the strength of two companies. In recent years, Worker has become a major shareholder of Mestre Lab and has purchased ArcSpan. The three companies see this as an opportunity to combine technologies and creations. The drive is to address the steps and activities that keep scientists from working on actual science. Um, this is the entry into the digital laboratory. To raise efficiency, an individual's workflow is automated by combining ArcSpan's workflow module with Mestre Lab's technique for data capture, 
processing, analysis, and delivery. And uh, importantly, this is a vendor independent end-to-end -end solution. By adding structure to testing requests, automation can be introduced. Test requests initiate a series of steps where samples are prepared, and once it enters the testing paradigm, there's little interruption taking anyone away from the discovery of new molecules or biologics. Once data is generated, it's automatically collected and analyzed. The software's tolerances set the bar for acceptance and release of results. Tolerance, in turn, are set by the analyst based on your organization's rules for sample purity and data quality. So you can see that this adds structure, but it isn't rigid. It's suitable for a discovery environment. Add more parameters to the release, and it can be useful in more regulated environments. A key feature is the publication of the results back to the request page and notification that the results are available for final uh, for review and final approval. This doesn't take people out of the process, but it frees the analyst and the requester to focus on the outliers or uh, unusual cases. Approved data can uh, be easily moved over to a registration page or ELN entry to complete the step. Uh, the workflow form looks like this. The requester adds an experiment ID to connect this request to the source of the material. In the lower section is one or more rows for each test to be run on that sample. The requester adds the test name. The unique ID is generated by the software when the entry is saved. When the notification comes that the analysis is done, the raw data and results files will be found on, uh, on this line. Uh, very little risk of confusing data sets and sample sources. Schematically, it looks like this. Uh, useful for in-house or CRO work, especially if you're managing a CRO and want to see more analysis after an initial run for identification. By publishing the results and data to the workflow page, the results are available for review soon after the step is complete. Like the ability to see ELN pages in real time, the ability to review the analysis uh, firsthand means managers can make data-driven decisions more quickly. The system structure comes from applying MNOVAGEAR's technology. It's the connector between the workflow request and the instruments. It moves the data, does the processing, analysis, uh, against your tolerances, and then the publication back to the workflow request. And this is just the beginning. MNOVA Gears can handle data from a variety of instruments, so there's more to come. So the steps for the scientists are that you run the experiment, record in the ELN, create the workflow request, uh, referring back to the ELN. The analyst logs into the workflow, uses that prioritized list to process the samples. The unique ID for the sample is entered into the instrument to connect the sample with the source. MesterLab software processes the data, returns the report to the workflow request. The analytical lab manager receives an email notification that the analysis is complete for approval of the workflow request, thereby completing it. The scientist receives an email notification that the analysis is complete reviews the data for his or her approval, and moves the results to ELN. So to summarize the workflow portion, um, we believe that the analytical plan and workflow in general is a powerful tool that fits the, a need in the day-to-day -day work of science teams. The benefit of automation is that scientists can get to the characterization data they need with less hands-on time, leaving more time on their science. The potential benefit of automation goes to the scientist who requests and the analyst who fills the request. Both people can get more done in a given time. So I've spent the time so far talking about how data and other important information can be captured. I'd like to spend the rest of my time describing modules that help the uh, users organize their data and valuable assets. So, Let's start with the ArcSpan registration. 
It provides the foundation to manage a company's next generation of products. For small molecules, the system allows the registration, allows for the registration of new entities. Uh, the software performs a uniqueness check on the new item. If it has been registered before, the user is directed to a window to make a new batch. If it's truly new, the system creates a new registration number. Characterization, the characterization data is routinely stored with the registered compound as uploaded files for verification of the proposed structure. The registration page and the ELN entry that provided the compound are linked together, giving a complete picture of the synthesis. Um, linking the ELN pages and reg IDs uh, puts a reg link in the ELN entry and adds the ELN entry to a table in the reg page. This provides a quick view of where the compound has used been used after registration. Um, and I want to emphasize that while I'm showing a small molecule, these same ideas hold when large molecules are the next generation of products. Registration pages are made to the customer specification. The identification, the data saved, the connections for biomolecules follow the same pattern. Depending on the biologic, identification may be through a signature peptide, through a neutralizing antibody test or capsid analysis. The choice is yours and all data is accommodated. Uh, the inventory module provides laboratories a simple means to understand where and how much of any number of critical materials is stored. The system provides the means to configure locations, containers, and asset types, including HGS libraries, single pure compounds, biologics, uh, critical reagents, materials, and equipment. Items can be sampled with parent-child relationships automatically managed, and there's an audit trail for every container. The reg link included in the parent container carries over with the child. Inventory thresholds can trigger notifications to reorder. All information exchanges reside within the ArcSpan suite. It simplifies the management of material flow and provides a ready method for tracking the consumption of critical reagents. ArcSpan assay is the tool in the suite that can define, collect, manage, and uh, securely store assay endpoint data. The product provides a natural environment for designing, managing, and contributing to collaborative studies. Assay module is ideal for assay development work, as well as low throughput and high throughput screening programs. Users can specify required and optional parameters, data types, and allowed ranges. Carry out automated calculations of raw data uh, values to calculate, uh, I'm sorry, to generate curves and heat maps. Uh, data files can be associated with calculated values. Assay also integrates with other ArcSpan modules in enterprise search. So, one of the key differentiators of the ArcSpan platform is not only our ability to search within any one of our systems, but to provide a simple means to search across the entire platform. The ArcSpan Enterprise Search System automatically indexes all information from inventory, assay, reg, and ELN custom experiments. This allows complex searches that unite data from these individual platforms into a single view. These views can be saved as reports shared across the organization to provide insights into the research being done in, in any organization. So uh, to summarize, we've looked at two new features in ArcSpan today. The Biospin tool will be released in January and has features that streamline molecular biology planning and documentation later uh, next year. An updated version will be released for ELN desktop and standalone web use with expanded features. Um, the second new tool is the uh, analytical request. It is in production now and takes us forward into the digital laboratory. We also looked at the overall ArcSpan suite from ELN to registration, inventory, assay, workflow, and search. Thank you for your attention today.
we'd be glad to have further discussions about any aspect of the suite and how it may address your needs. Also, uh, Jeff and I will be happy to take questions today. That's great, Phil. <clears throat> much, much appreciated. Great presentation. Um, absolutely. Uh, a couple of things here, uh, uh, some contact information for everybody that's up on the screen. I'll give everybody a couple more minutes here if you all want to ask some questions. I know I see a few flowing in, so you know now take a moment and, and, and type those in if you want. Um, so just general contact information. You can see across the top uh, the, the email contact information for the different folks at ArcSpan um, that you can get in touch with. There's also... <clears throat> Contact information below for Asterix. Um, if you have questions about, you know, how this fits within the suite of solutions and services that Asterix provides, you're welcome to to reach out uh, to Mike Zakowski as well. So, real quick, let me do this. Let me have a quick look here and stop.